No credit goes to Duquesne. I, I thought um, Grant and Clock uh, played extremely well, and that was a concern going into the game. You know, they shoot 18 for 30, um, you know, seven for 14 from threes, and it's hard. Every time we made a run, it just seemed like um, they made a shot. You know, when it was a circus shot, um, but you know, they, they score whatever 39 uh, of the 70 points. Um, they were they were uh, alone, and you know, we didn't play. You know, I, I thought we got. We went small, and I thought it gave us some energy, just like the other night. Um, but you know, we shoot six for twenty-four from threes. Um, you know, it just we weren't good enough, and it, it a lot had to do with, with with Duquesne. And we wish them luck in um, in, in the championship tomorrow. But they all played us. Okay. Any questions for Daryl? Right here, please. Got order with the BB. Daryl, emotions were clearly high walking out of the court. You and some of the other guys. When you reflect back on your two years at Bonham being a team leader, just what are some of the things that come to mind? Um, yeah, I had an amazing experience my two years here. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I made a lot of connections. I can judge my family. Um, of course, I wanted to go further, but going out with those guys, so I couldn't ask for better. Darrell Ryan Lowry in Buffalo Bills. End of the first half, start of the second half, a big drop there offensively. What did they do to force you into some mistakes and maybe uh, tough looks? Um, uh, credit to those guys. Um, I think we didn't get a lot of looks, though. So we must have been that little run they had, but they just didn't fall. And then when they didn't fall, we didn't just stop. So that's what pushed the lead up. So I think that's what hurt us. Daryl, J.P. Butler, Ole and Tom Sarrow. Um, Clark and Grant, obviously, uh, played very well. Hit a bunch of tough shots today. Was it, was it more guys? making plays for them, or was it something defensively on your end that you weren't yeah, sure I mean, executing? Yeah, like Coach said, it seemed like every time we got it really close, they hit a tough shot, like we hit that circuit shot um, over Chad, that was like a tough shot. It just, sometimes it just happens. Um, I mean, credit to those guys, all these players, they made big time plays when they had to, so they just did what they had to do. Any other questions? You got one more? <coughs> Sam Wilson, all the time, Gerald. Gerald, this season had a lot of up and downs, especially especially for you. Um, how do you feel about what you guys were able to accomplish here in, in this tournament and, and make the run that you did to this game? Um, yeah, I mean, we did what we have to do. Uh, you know, the, the third, this is the third season in the postseason. This is an added. Um, of course, we want to go further, but you know, we just stepped up to the plate. Even though we had an up and down season, we stepped up, made plays, and got a few wins. So both were for sure. Got one more. And Devin, and, and, and same thing is going off that question. I mean, after the St. Louis game at home, people again, you know, kind of left you guys for dead. So to come back, stand up in the face of that, win the two games that you did on Wednesday and Thursday, give yourselves a chance two wins away from the tournament. I mean, can you take some satisfaction in that, knowing how hard it is right now? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, you know, any wins, good wins, I didn't go home from the first game like last year, so. Um, yeah, got two good ones. It is what it is. We're going short, but yeah, uh, like I said, I wouldn't change it. I'm happy with the group of guys. I feel like we showed a lot of mental, physical toughness, especially like you said, coming off of two bad losses. So yeah, just proud of the group of guys that I played with this year. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sam Basil, House of College Hoops. Coach, uh, all four teams today, you know, kind of defied the odds on Thursday. You got two good wins this week. Do you feel like your performance this week might have, you know, garnered possible invites to more basketball? And, and if you get something like an NIT, do you think you Yeah, ready? yeah, hopefully. You know, who knows? I, I don't know what, what they think. Um, you know, but we won 20 games. Um, you know, I've been here 17 years, and I think we've only done that five other times. This is the sixth time that we won 20 games. So we had a good year. It was up and down. It's always, you know, the last game never defined you. you know, very few teams win the last game. Um, but I, I, I thought, you know, we have a good team. You know, we struggled at times. Um, but as Daryl said, we fought through adversity and came out, you know, lost in the semifinals. Our goal was to, it was to win the thing. Uh, we came up short, but, you know, 20 wins is, is pretty damn good. Uh, Nathan Salmon tap integrator on coach. Why do you feel like Duquesne just matched up so well against you throughout the season? I mean, obviously they the guards well. play well, you know. Um, they 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 play well and they were they were hard to guard. Um, 
you know, when they shoot, as I said, 18 to 30, it's, it's hard. And, and, and some of them, we, we gave them some, but they, they made some shots. They made some tough shots. And, and give them credit, they're good players. John Howard with the BZ. Coach, we've talked about your guys' struggles with scoring drops before. You have scoreless over the final 4-11 in the first half. Uh, first 4-31 in the second half. That's a 13-0 run for them. Do you think in that way this game was a microcosm of your season? Yeah, we missed some shit. You know, we, we, we got some open looks that we missed. Um, and that's just how it is. You know, we're not going to make every shot. It's just, you know, we had some breakdowns on, on, on defense and they hit some shots. Um, you know, like I said, give them credit. You know, they, they, they prepare just like we do. There's two teams trying to win. And there's only one team that can win. Um, but, you know, I, I, our effort was good. They just, they made some plays. And, you know, we had, we had shots, we missed them. They go down the other, other end and they make them. And it's, that's basketball. Any other questions for Coach? Take one more in the back. Coach J.P. Butler, Times Herald. Um, aside from the way that guys like Clark and Grant played, I mean, for you in the three games with Duquesne, was there a common denominator or something you guys didn't do? I know there were struggles from three-point range in those three games, but was there a common denominator? Uh, they're, they're a good team. You know, they got good players. They got good guards. Um, uh, I really don't know. You know they, they go 10 for 21, we go 6 for 24, so we get outscored by 12 from the three-point line. Um, today, um, you know, they just, they're good players. And, you know, we had open shots, we missed them. They had open shots, they made them. That was a ball game. And last one, again, just coming off that uh, tough St. Louis loss at home to stand up in the face of that, come out here, get two more ins, put yourselves in position, um, you know, to, to shake that off and give yourself a chance. Is there some satisfaction that can be taken? No, as I said, you know, I just saw Long Beach State. You know, they're in the finals and they lost their last four games. It, it doesn't matter. You know, momentum is, is when the ball goes up the next day, that, that's when momentum stops or starts. You know, so um, going into the tournament on a two game losing streak, a two game game winning streak, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know, we just came here, it was in a whole new season and um, we played well you know, for two games and we played well at times today, but the effort just wasn't good enough. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.